Star Wars animation is back on Wednesday with Tales of the Jedi. In the early days of this channel, we've been very vocal about just how excited we are for this project. In the last few days, plenty of new details on the show have also emerged. Fear not, we've got you covered. But before we get going, be sure to hit subscribe to catch our breakdown video soon after the episodes drop, you won't want to miss them. We've also been covering the ongoing Andor series, if that's something that interests you too. With that out of the way, let's start with everything we know so far. Tales of the Jedi is a series of six animated shorts focusing on two fan-favorite Clone Wars era Jedi, Count Dooku and Ahsoka Tano. Two Jedi who both became disillusioned with the Jedi Order and left, one choosing the path of the dark side, the other remaining within the light. The series was created by the genius himself, Dave Filoni. Funny enough, the madman actually wrote the shorts while flying between sets for The Mandalorian. Filoni will serve as the show's supervising director, as well as writer for five of the six episodes. The one remaining episode was written by Charles Murray and Alain Murray. Whereas Nathaniel Villeneuve, Charles Murray, and Saul Rees are credited as Tales of the Jedi's directors. New details recently emerged on the show via what looks to be a press kit document on the r slash Star Wars leak subreddit, including the titles and runtimes of each short. The titles are as follows, Life and Death, Justice, The Sith Lord, if you ask me those definitely sound like the Count Dooku episodes, with Practice Makes Perfect, Coda, and Choices appearing to be about Ahsoka. As for runtimes, and do keep in mind that from the get-go this show was advertised as shorts, they were never going to be 20 to 30 minutes and up much to the dismay of fans on Twitter. We have 17 minutes, 14 minutes, 13 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and 14 minutes again. The series was first announced at this year's Star Wars Celebration, triggering months of speculation. Many theorized the series would be an adaptation of the Dark Horse comic series of the same name. Obviously, we know now that is not the case. The first trailer came at Disney's D23 Expo, at least to the general public, which we discussed in depth then. Don't worry, we'll touch on plot in a moment. Tales of the Jedi will see plenty of familiar voice actors also return to their iconic roles. Ashley Eckstein is back as Ahsoka Tano, now sharing the role with Rosario Dawson, who portrays her in live action. Corey Burton is returning as Count Dooku. He recently provided the voice of live action Cad Bane in the Book of Boba Fett. After making a cameo in Kenobi, Liam Neeson is back as Qui-Gon Jinn. His real-life son, Michael Richardson, will also play a younger version of the character. The legend himself, Ian McDermott, will provide the voice of Darth Sidious and Chancellor Palpatine. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. Janita Gavankar is Ahsoka's mother, Pop T. She actually played the voice of Aiden Versio in Star Wars Battlefront 2's campaign. Clancy Brown will provide the voice of this new Inquisitor. He previously portrayed Savage Opress in The Clone Wars, as well as Mr. Krabs. The more you know. Plus, we'll see the expected ones like James Arnold Taylor and Matt Lanter as Obi-Wan and Anakin, Dee Bradley Baker as Rex and the other clones, T.C. Carson as Mace Windu, and Phil Lamar as Bail Organa. In last minute news, we also learned that Bryce Dallas Howard will voice Yaddle, who's appearing for the first time since the prequel films. Howard's father, Ron, directed Solo A Star Wars Story, which gave her the opportunity to learn a ton. She would go on to direct chapters 4 and 11 of The Mandalorian and chapter 5 of The Book of Boba Fett, giving us some of the best Star Wars of the last few years. You may also know her from the Jurassic World movies. To sum it up, we are in good hands. Now a bunch of creators and outlets much bigger than we are were given early screeners of the entire series. Apparently there was no embargo whatsoever, meaning early spoiler-free reviews are pouring in. Here's what a few had to say. Tales of the Jedi brings an emotional blast to the past that fills in some exciting blanks in the prequel trilogy. Short enough to make for an easy watch while providing intriguing new details about two key players from both sides of the Force. A must-see for Star Wars fans. I just watched all six shorts in the new Star Wars Tales of the Jedi animated series from Dave Filoni. It's incredibly well-crafted, filling in some big gaps and addressing some burning questions in the stories of Ahsoka Tano and Count Dooku. I think fans are going to love it. Tales of the Jedi is fun to watch. It's also a great companion series to the Clone Wars in many ways. It's got some really fun stuff, but is quite dark when it needs to be. With appearances from familiar faces and new layered stories, it also allows for some interesting world building. So cool to see Ahsoka back in action, and just as badass as ever, even coming against an Inquisitor. This show slash format has some great potential in terms of storytelling, and opens the door to hearing more earlier stories of so many great Star Wars characters. Don't miss it. Tales of the Jedi is going to be a hit. This show crafts two beautiful character-driven stories over long periods of time, and it just works. The dual stories of Ahsoka and Count Dooku blend well and give you two perspectives of the Jedi Order, alongside what it means to be one. 
Dooku's story was a blessing in disguise. Didn't know what to expect, but they sure knew what to give the fans. The three episodes give you context for a lot of events of the films, and a deeper look into the motives and psyche of Dooku. And here comes the Ahsoka Splurge, my favorite character in the history of Star Wars, and seeing her past was beautiful. If anyone loves the character as much as I do, you will not be disappointed, giving much needed looks at events that tie into others regarding Ahsoka. I shed a tear once or twice as well. Episodes to look out for are 1, 4, 5, and 6. Enjoy the show you all, Filoni killed it once again. Finished Tales of the Jedi, really solid stuff. Like most anthology stuff, some stories are stronger than others. The second half of episodes rock, and I think Clone Wars fans will love them. Wow, episodes 1 to 6 of Tales of the Jedi is just premier Star Wars. The animation, sound design, and incredible score by Kevin Kinner, just powerful. Episode 4 might be one of the best episodes of Star Wars animation maybe ever. Kevin Kinner should be scoring for live action television. Thanks to user Pure Beskar for compiling those on the r slash Star Wars leak subreddit. Disney, if you're seeing this and want to send an early screener over to us next time, that would be awesome. But the one good thing about us not seeing it yet means we can put on our tinfoil hats and get super speculative about what might go down. And if you're watching this after the shorts drop, treat this as a, oh, that would have been cool type of video. So let's start with Count Dooku. In my opinion, his shorts are far more intriguing since we've seen far less of him during this time period. Sure, there are excellent novels out there like Jedi Lost, but far more people are going to be tuning into this show than will ever pick up a single Star Wars novel. This of course is going to chronicle Dooku's fall to the dark side, at least the beginning of it. We'll see him alongside both his apprentice Qui-Gon Jinn and Mace Windu. Of course, with Ian McDermott involved portraying Palpatine, it only makes sense to see him at least starting to plant the seeds for Dooku leaving the Order. Now one interesting aspect of the trailer are the few quick shots of Dooku dueling Yaddle. The location they're facing often actually appears to be the works, a place where we see Palpatine talk to Dooku at the conclusion of Attack of the Clones. It's a hidden spot in the industrial part of Coruscant where Palpatine trains his apprentices like Dooku and even Darth Maul. Could Yaddle actually follow Dooku here and discover what's going on, leading to a duel where Dooku was forced to kill her? In Legends, aka not canon, Yaddle died on a mission with Obi-Wan and Anakin, absorbing a chemical weapon with the Force, sacrificing herself to save the two Jedi as well as the people of the planet. Dooku does still have his blue lightsaber, so he hasn't quite fallen completely to the dark side and become Tyrannus, but he's definitely flirting with the idea. So could killing Yaddle be one of his tipping points? We'll find out. I think it would also be really cool to see flashbacks, maybe of Dooku being trained by Yoda or placing the order for the clone army with Sifo DS. The possibilities are really endless with his character's past. Dooku is such an underrated Star Wars villain simply because he's not as flashy as a Darth Maul or Vader or even Kylo Ren. Now onto the Ahsoka Tano side of things, I'm personally a bit less excited for her half of the show. Don't get me wrong, she's one of my absolute favorite Star Wars characters. We've just seen far more of her backstory than Dooku's. I'm honestly at this point more interested in what she's doing in her live action series. I just feel there's narratively more to be told there in the timeline of the Mandalorian. If we'd have to guess, her first episode will be about the Jedi finding her. We do see plenty of shots of her as a child. Now we know from Star Wars The Clone Wars that it was Jedi Master Plo Koon who found and brought her to the Jedi Temple. I believe we even saw a very quick flashback of that in the series. This is something we'd absolutely love to see more of in Tales. Her second episode, we're thinking is what we went in depth in during our D23 breakdown video when we talked about the mirroring of Anakin Skywalker teaching her the very moves she'd used to defend herself during Order 66 as well as attending the funeral of Padme Amidala during Revenge of the Sith. This one is going to be a tearjerker. Her third episode will seemingly take place after the events of the Clone Wars Season 7, which we also touched on in our D23 breakdown video. Ahsoka faces off with an Imperial Inquisitor. Many are speculating this is a redesign of the Sixth Brother, who is featured in an Ahsoka novel. In that novel, Ahsoka kills this Inquisitor and takes his red kyber crystals, purifying them into the white blades we see in Rebels and the Mandalorian. That is something we would absolutely love to see. Now something we'd also love to see is another season of Tales of the Jedi. Surely if something far more niche like Visions is getting a second season, Tales could too, right? I mean, the name of the show is just so broad. Let's see shorts about other prequel Jedi, maybe some of the super obscure ones. Let's jump back to the High Republic era since Disney's high on that right now. Let's see a young Yoda being trained. We could go to Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy to see Ben Solo. Hell, do a spin-off called Tales of the Sith. 
If you want us to make a longer video regarding a possible second season, do let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, what are you most looking forward to in Tales of the Jedi? Be sure to subscribe to catch our reactions and check out some of our coverage on Andor too. But until next time, may the Force be with you. Red 5 standing by.